I have gotten a lot of comments accusing me of being fake in my progression videos. I not only have a good laugh, and to be honest, I also feel very, very honored since this type of accusation is only applicable to people who have achieved a certain level in fitness. The old me would have died for this kind of accusation. Anyways, today I'm gonna share with you one of the extremely underrated reasons of my fast progression which is recovery. Let's say a skill requires an effort of 12 to learn. If you have good recovery and can train every other day with an effort of 3, it will take you only 7 days to get there. If you have bad recovery and can only train once every 3 days, it will take you 10 days to get there instead. If you want to get there in 7 days with a bad recovery, you will have to train with an effort of 4, which means you have to train 33% harder than you usually train. Unrealistic. You might say, recovery is not an issue for me. I train pretty frequently, but I still don't progress as fast as you did. Well, chances are pretty high that you train with only an effort of one. I guarantee you, recovery will become an issue once you amp up the training intensity. Obviously, this is an oversimplification, but you get the point. Alright, so the first tip is, keep your body hydrated. Before you start complaining this is common sense, do you only drink water whenever it hits your mind randomly? Chances are high, you do, because I was like that before. The game changer for me is to use an app to constantly remind myself to drink water every two hours. It's such a simple thing to do, so pause the video right now and download any water reminder app onto your phone. Alright, so the second tip is to sleep on your back. Research has shown sleeping on your side causes shoulder stress and sleeping on your stomach causes neck and back stress. Sleeping on your back allows your body to rest in a neutral position and therefore is optimal for muscle recovery. If you are not convinced, feel free to do your own research. From my own experience, I have slept on my stomach for my entire life and it was a total game changer when I switched to sleeping on my back. I used to feel sore on my back, neck, and shoulders when I woke up. And it kind of went away as the day went on. However, as I become older and started training hard, the soreness start to linger and bother me. I also used to move a lot unconsciously when sleeping because I had to switch to the side sleep position occasionally for my muscles to take a break from the stress caused by the stomach sleep position. And obviously moving too much during sleep is counterproductive to recovery. After I switch to sleeping on my back, I sleep deeper and I can feel the huge difference in the overall reduction of my muscle soreness. So here is how to break the habit of sleeping in the suboptimal position. Initially, it will be harder to fall asleep and you will feel a huge urge to switch back to your original sleep position. Do not cave in. Imagine yourself doing the elusive muscle up that you always dreamed of doing. Imagine yourself climbing that outdoor V7 so you can show it off on Instagram. Imagine yourself being so mad seeing Geek Climber on YouTube progressing faster than you and having to comment fake. Basically, visualize vividly the glories if you achieve your goals and the fears if you don't. This should give you the extra willpower to change your sleep position. Do it tonight right away. You won't regret it. The last tip is to massage your muscles before and after a workout. Research has shown massaging before workout increases mobility and reduces residual muscle soreness. And massaging after workout speeds up muscle recovery. Again, if you're not convinced, feel free to do your own research. I like to massage myself actively with a foam roller before workout and massage myself passively with a massage gun after workout. When I first started this routine, again, the effect I experienced was huge and I've continued the routine ever since. Now I can't even imagine not massaging myself before and after workout. Full disclosure, I'm not sponsored and since I neither have a Patreon nor have a pro sponsorship like the Pro Climbers, I sign up for the affiliate program for the Real X Bit Massage Gun. So if you click the link in the video description below and use coupon code GEEKCLIMBER to make the purchase, you will get 15% off and I will receive a commission in return. I have been using the Real X Bit Massage Gun regularly. And as we all know, on this channel, I only recommend products that I personally find useful. There are two reasons why I prefer the massage gun over the foam roller after workout. 
First, the intensity of the massage can be way higher. Second, since I don't need to get my mind ready for the main workout because it's after workout, I can actually multitask by doing work on my desk and massaging myself with a massage gun at the same time. If you are serious about fitness, I highly recommend you invest in one. Thanks for watching. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my website, geekclimber.com. See you in the next video.